Hello and welcome to 150 Days of Psalms. My name is Derek Hoven and I am the pastor at Salem Lutheran Church here in Orlando, Florida. Each day for 150 days I am reflecting on one of the psalms, starting at the beginning and moving toward the end. Most of the time those reflections come from my own personal experiences as I have found the psalms to be a tremendous uh, conversation partner over the last decade and my hope is that that can be true for you as well. Today is day 64, and so we read Psalm 64. Hear my voice, O God, when I complain. Protect my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the conspiracy of the wicked, from the mob of evildoers. They sharpen their tongue like a sword and aim their bitter words like arrows, that they may shoot down the blameless from ambush. They shoot without warning and are not afraid. They hold fast to their evil course. They plan how they may hide their snares. They say, who will see us? Who will find out our crimes? We have thought out a perfect plot. The human mind and heart are a mystery, but God will loose an arrow at them and suddenly they will be wounded. God will make them trip over their tongues and all who see them will flee in horror. Everyone will stand in awe and declare God's works. They will ponder what God has done. The righteous will rejoice and put their trust in the Lord. And all who are true of heart will glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I wonder if the psalmist in Psalm 64 was an introvert. I say that because the psalmist uh, in verse 2 says, hide me. And I can think of many a day where I have wanted to hide. Because I am a pretty uh, heavy introvert. And uh, I understand that introversion means uh, maybe different than some people understand uh, popularly in our culture. But that introverts are people who need uh, quiet alone time to get our energy. And I love people. I love talking to people. I love being around people. But at the end of a day, if I have a whole lot of people engagement, it just drains all of my energy. And that's not a bad thing or a good thing, it just is. And at the end of a day like that, I need some time, some time by myself to recharge and uh, get energy back so that I can do the same thing again the next day. I remember when I worked as a hospital chaplain where my days were filled with intense human connection whether it was in conversation with my colleagues or conversations with patients and their families and prayer in those spaces. At the end of the day, I would come home and just sit by our back patio and look out the window a bit to just decompress and get disconnected from uh, that human interaction. And again, I love being around people, right? It's just an energy thing that goes along with it. Sometimes there's a, a need to almost hide and be alone so that I can continue to be around people and have the energy to do that well. And when I hear the psalmist then say, hide me from the conspiracy of the wicked, from the mob of evildoers, and it goes on to talk about their sharp tongues and the ways that they are interacting with the psalmist, you get a sense that the psalmist is weary of this people interaction. And we don't know who these people are. They could be adversaries in the community. They could even be family members that the psalmist has a struggle with. Uh, but in midst of all that, the psalmist needs some time away. And it's not just time to escape the abuse that they are experiencing, but time to recharge, time to be grounded in some conversation with God. The end of the psalm says, The righteous will rejoice and put their trust in the Lord, and all who are true of heart will glory. This is the psalmist's desire. And so this prayer to be hidden is a prayer to head towards that desire, to be able to be uh, grounded in, and to land in that righteousness of God so that when the psalmist comes back out to deal with the difficult people that they are dealing with, they have a new sense of energy and a sense of grace that grows out of this love and presence of God to guide those interactions. And I could get all of that as an introvert. And most of my days aren't days filled with all of this uh, intensity of adversity that the psalmist has. Uh, even on the good days, sometimes uh, we just need to take a moment to be in God's presence. And that's not just true for introverts, right? It's true for all of us that sometimes uh, being able to sit uh, not just with our own thoughts, but with uh, 
uh, some conversation with God is good for uh, our relationships, uh, both with ourselves, uh, but also with the people that are around us, that they can be uh, grounded in God's grace as we go. Let us pray. As we contemplate the times in which we need refuge and spaces to hide from the conflict in our lives, Lord, we also remember your words, which call us into the world to be a holy and priestly people who carry your grace along with us. Help us to live in the tension between engagement and retreat, between confrontation and speaking truth with love, between self-care and selfishness. Fill us with grace enough to carry us along and grace enough to share. Amen. Thank you for joining me for 150 days of Psalms. We will return tomorrow with Psalm 65.